What's up guys, it's Nick here, and what we're looking at right now is the Replacers trailer for Call of Duty Black Ops 2 DLC 3 Vengeance. And uh, it has the Replacers skit in the beginning like normal, and then it also has some gameplay of the maps towards the end. And I know what you guys want to see is Buried, that's also what I want to see, so let's go straight to Buried and start talking about zombies. Wow, so I, I, I really enjoyed that one, and I, what I love about this one is it shows uh, a lot of hidden stuff, or new features at least, that are, are kind of subtle and you have to pick up on, and I love that kind of stuff. So let's go, let's go through here and look at uh, some of the new stuff that we got going on. Alright, so what we have here are two of the most interesting shots in the trailer. First, we have this shot of this whole mansion here. You can actually see a weapon on the, the wall uh, down there in the bottom left. I can't really make out what weapon it is, but it kind of looks like a submachine gun. And you can see in the center there, there's this black circle with what looks like a woman standing inside of it. Well, we'll get a closer shot of her here. So now we get a closer shot of her and we can see that she's a young woman and now she's actually in a different window than what she was in before. It looks like it's to the right of the entrance to the house, the porch down there in the bottom left. So uh, this could say that maybe, you know, she switches windows every time you come up. But to me, looking at this, she almost looks like a widow. It looks like she's got a black scarf on around her neck, uh, which could mean that she's a widow. And, you know, you always hear these ghost stories at mansions about, you know, a lost widowed ghost looking for her husband. And she kind of looks like, you know, she could be a ghostly figure, as we'll see here in a minute. Um, so maybe she's a widow there looking for her husband. There could be some type of really, really interesting backstory there. And then here as the zombies are getting up and running towards the players, we can see the blue light of the mystery box up top there. So the mystery box, you know, you can still locate where it is with the light, of course. And the teddy bear down at the bottom there, as we know, that should probably activate the music Easter eggs. You, you know, you'll have to find three of those teddy bears. So now we get some footage of this ghost woman, as we can see, floating away from her mansion that she was at. And she's going to come and seemingly attack the players. Uh, Russ man shoots her dead. Uh, so yeah, I'm really intrigued to see how that uh, ghost lady actually turns out. It's going to be pretty cool. Of course, here we have our beloved uh, Juggernaut machine returning. Uh, Raygun Mark II, we now know it's confirmed that you'll be able to get this weapon in any map. If you own the DLC, you'll be able to get the Raygun Mark II on any Zombies map. And also, Marlton is in this church area, which I think could be a pretty important area. You know, churches, symbolic, uh, hopefully some storyline stuff in this area. Alright, so here we see these zombies running through this hallway. In the background, you can actually see a construction table or a repair table uh, with the blueprint on the wall. And it looks like that's a brand new item. I can't make out exactly what it is, but we haven't seen that item before. So it looks like there's a new item uh, being built in the background there. Uh, here's this new type of character where it's been hinted at that you can choose how he treats you, good or bad. Uh, it depends on the actions you take. Here you'll see the bottle uh, shine or twinkle, which generally means that you can pick the item up, so that bottle may be a part of uh, something bigger. Now here, Misty is in what looks like a courtroom in the jailhouse, which is just a, another, you know, unique environment. Uh, definitely good to see some variety within the map itself. So this whole section here is a big hint towards a new feature in the game. You'll see the giant character here, uh, this passive guy that Jimmy has said you can influence how he acts. He's going to ask for food right there, and then they feed him candy. And then he kills zombies. So I imagine there's other stuff you can feed him that'll change how he acts, going along with what Jimmy said in the original trailer. But pretty cool to see this in action. And there we have it. Vengeance coming on July 2nd, 2013. First to Xbox Live. Guys, I'll be doing what I always do. I'll be live streaming the map on day one with the crew. You guys know that's always a fun time. I hope to see you guys there, and I'll put up some more information about that a bit later. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I love sharing this with you guys and talking about stuff. And if you have any ideas, thoughts, comments that you want to share, please put them in the comments below. I love reading all the replies. Uh, until next time, I will see you guys. Can't wait for vengeance. It's going to be great.